Hi, my name is Daniel Locke and I am the Landscape, Culture and Identity Convener for the Valleys Regional Park. So the Valleys Regional Park is a programme that aims to take a regional approach to managing, promoting and maximising the benefits of the valleys, countryside and natural landscapes. So we know that the natural landscape of the valleys is in very close proximity to centres of population, very close to towns and villages in the valley, so it's very accessible that natural landscape is and it has huge potential then to convey a whole range of health and well-being benefits to the people who live in the valleys. Countless studies now show that it's massively important for people's physical health, mental health and actually our social health as well. The natural landscapes and our green spaces are people, places where people can come together communally. They're repositories of shared memory where people have these memories that go back decades with their friends and families. So it's massively important to social health and we know now increasingly so it's important to people's physical health and mental health. So it's good for the people, it's good for the communities and it's good long term for the landscapes and for our children's futures. So seven million altogether, thereabouts, was invested in 12 Discovery Gateways across the Valleys Regional Park area. Discovery Gateways are places like this place where we are now, Bringaru Country Park. So they're parks and nature reserves, mostly um, embedded within local communities across the valleys. And they're very accessible to local people where people can come and have these positive, meaningful, inspiring experiences of the outdoors and of nature, as the Guardians were doing here today in Bringaru. To take Bringaru as an example, benefited from best part of £650,000 of investment. And that's gone to a range of things there's access improvements for a start to enable people to access more of the, the natural landscape within Bringaru. It's also the bulk of it has paid for a refurbishment of the visitor centre so there's enhanced interpretation so people can better understand and connect with the natural environment and then a new education building which will be used with local schools. It will be used by the guardians presumably when they do their work with the homeschooling community. Bringaru has 30 local schools visit on an annual basis which equates to something like 2,000 children annually. I worked here for 10 years, so something like 10,000 children. I've personally experienced having these, their very first experiences in many cases of the outdoors. So the investment here in particular is targeted at engaging schools, engaging school children with their local habitats, local natural habitats, local natural environment, with all the benefit that brings them and with all the benefit that they will then bring to that landscape as they become more informed, more educated, more inspired to do good for that landscape as they get older.